Warmcraft is a uh, general contractor to a number of prime contract holders with the government. We also hold our own contracts with the government. Uh, what we specialize in is the specialty finishing of garments with different types of chemicals. The challenges that we face, probably the biggest, was, was keeping the customer's individual goods separated. We have a, a number of subcontracts where we run units that are identical in every way except for the contract and the prime contract holder. That created many problems with us trying to separate each customer's units and account for those uh, throughout the production process. We did not have a good procedure in order to do that. So Simply RFID is a, we're a radio frequency company and what we do is we take tags, uh, passive RFID tags, 15 cent tags, place them on products to track them anywhere. Of course the concept of RFID is that you have a uh, individual tag on each garment down to the lowest level that gives you identification of that unit all the way through your uh, production supply chain. There's the readers, there's the software, but you also have to encode tags and we can code maybe a million tags a month and we needed something that really worked well. So with Warmcraft we really need to find a, a, a solution that was going to work for that kind of volume. Actually make sure everything that goes in that box is correct. All the labels that come out that go on the printers are correct. We would have some very specific advantages to that. The RFID tag itself is typically human readable with a barcode on one side of that tag, but if you turn that tag over, you will see the RFID chip embedded in there with the antenna. We follow that all the way through with a human readable until we get ready to do the packaging. At that time, the carton is then sealed and then sent through a high-speed production conveyor. The production conveyor reads each individual tags in that carton checking for the correct item in that box, it checks for the correct contract number, it checks for the correct packaging on that as far as count. We took the Zebra R110XI and used that to produce all of their item level tags. One printer produces an RF case tag and they put it on the side of the box. If the box fails, they have a 105SL, it's printing a regular label tag that says exception. They take that and they put it on the box and they process it later. And we're able to go back and correct that, rerun it, and then basically give a 100% error free on that carton. After the cartons are checked and RFID tags, there's also a RFID carton tag that's attached to that. From there, uh, we will carry it on through packaging where that those cartons are associated with a particular pallet in that ship. Then we put it on the pallet wrap machine and at that point, we pick the delivery order number that it's going to apply to, and we spin it, and the computer reads all of the carton labels and tells us what's on there, and tells us if there's an error or not. If not, it'll print out a pallet number. We apply that to the pallet, and then wrap it, and then it's ready to ship when we get the rest of them wrapped. All that information is uploaded to the government, and they have full information now on what individual garments are in that shipment. They receive those individual garments in that shipment at the destination point based upon the RFID data that's uploaded into the system. And when they receive it, that RFID data is read and put into the database for payments. The Department of Defense mandates uh, that certain items are tagged item level with RFID. And what every manufacturer has found so far is that when they do it with item level, their counts are correct, their, you know, their quantities are faster, they don't have to worry about mispacks, misships, their QARs come in, and, and the last thing is they get paid faster. We do see some benefits financially from this. We had numerous inspection points and QC people in, in that area. Uh, now we've probably been able to reduce that by 50% on the labor savings there on those particular audits. And in fact, this is, uh, this is shown a drop from 5% to 0.2% as far as error rates go. So we have run quite literally millions and millions of tags. We like zebras because they were very simple. They encode right, they work well, they don't break. They were rugged printers and still are. And they're fast and they're really reasonably priced. So that's where we started and that's why we stick with zebra. And it has been excellent and all the way through superior accuracy. Very efficient system. <laughs>